Good day, mates. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the most excited I've been to make a video in such a long time. You already know what I'm talking about. We have confirmation that Chapter 2 Season 8 is the last season of Chapter 2. We are jumping into Chapter 3 starting on December 4th. Now, this is interesting because originally we thought downtime was going to take place on December 5th. So it looks like we are potentially going to be getting a three-day long downtime. But with this trailer, we have some big hype coming into Chapter 3. Not only does it confirm Chapter 3, it's also looking like a lot of these theories about it being an entirely brand new map that is actually under the existing map are all the more true. There is a whole bunch of leaks that have come out. I want to talk about it because I am so incredibly excited. First off, let's just play the trailer in case you haven't seen it. It's only 20 seconds long and then we'll break down all the craziness in this. All right, so let's start breaking down this trailer. I know it's only 20 seconds long, but there are some big clues in here, especially one about an entirely new map. So starting off, where are they right now? So these four characters, we see them kind of coming out of what looks like kind of a base or an IO base type thing. It actually looks like it's that new base that's being constructed outside Pleasant Park where the mech first started. It's how we knew this was kind of going to be linked to the storyline because the mechs came back. We know the mechs are usually used as some kind of heralding of the new chapter. And then we now have this base being constructed in the characters are walking out to take on the cube queen if you guys don't know the storyline of this season i'll break it down super fast basically the cube queen has arrived she is trying to take over fortnite she's trying to take over the island and she's trying to probably take the power of the zero point to do so that is why the convergence in the center of the map is the giant pyramid and all the purple cubes are making their way there so she has more power because we believe the zero point which is the main thing that kind of you know creates all the storylines in fortnite all the power everything is currently in the center of the world right now imagine Fallen out like a planet it's in the middle so already that is super super exciting we can see the we see a whole bunch of lightning the cube queen is getting active this event is going to be insane but i don't want to talk about a whole bunch of story stuff today i know most of you guys come to my channel for you want to know about the gameplay changes what is coming up and what is changing well the biggest leak we have and this one is massive actually comes right at the end of the trailer you'll notice in the final screen fortnite chapter 2 finale the end and there's like a weird kind of color theme going on on this if you actually flip the end you can very clearly make out that this is a mountain and it's a volcano or maybe two big mountains but they're flipped upside down imagine what they would be if there was two maps and one was on the other side it pretty much confirms a theory that we've had going around a while now. Big, big creators like Cypher PK talking about this one. It's been heavily, heavily popularized. And it was a pretty crazy theory. I've been paying attention to it, but I wasn't 100% sold. It didn't make a lot of sense to me. But now after everything we've known with Cypher PK and the fact that my man was very confident about chapter three, like really confident. A lot of us had our theories. A lot of us were getting confident. And Cypher PK made a phenomenal case for chapter three coming out. His videos have been covering everything, but he was just so so confident to me so i feel like him now making this theory about the map being on the underside of the existing map i believe it even more cypher pk knows something he's not telling us i swear so already that has me incredibly excited because some people are confused if we get a new chapter are we going to get an entirely new map and i have to believe we will right you have to imagine we will chapter one to chapter two we got an entirely brand new map and i imagine chapter two to chapter three will be the same thing i've been talking for a while now about how epic hired a whole bunch of environmental designers a few months ago leading up to something it wasn't just like normal gameplay change in the season or new season changes they were working on something big and i think this is why we've had very minimal map changes for the last few seasons because epics just got their themselves back on their feet and rather than putting the time in the short term to try and give us you know map changes now but then a, a really bad new chapter i truly think they've put this effort into in, in developing an entirely new map for the new chapter if you guys haven't seen a bunch of the theories around the map being on the under side of the map i'm not going to go into too much detail on them but there is a lot of evidence for them but what i do want to go into detail is all the other hype that is now being generated from other people at epic games and how epic is clearly pushing this chapter 3 event massively 
The first piece of evidence for how big this is going to be is just the downtime. The last time we had a downtime like this was chapter one into chapter two during season X, the black hole event. It looks like not only we're getting the two day downtime we originally anticipated, we're actually going to be getting three days or more. So December 4th is now the set time for this finale event. And we're going to go straight from that finale event into an extended downtime. We already know that. I've talked about that. The leak has talked about how Epic has gone in and changed a lot of the game files pertaining to long downtimes. But compared to the first black hole where everyone panicked, everyone freaked out, everyone hated it, for the most part, I can see people pretty excited because it means it's going to warrant something big enough, right? The last time we had an extended downtime was the biggest gameplay change we've ever seen. We came into an entirely new chapter. There was new mechanics. There was water, all of that. Even though, in my opinion, chapter two, season one, wasn't that fun because of the meta, just the weapons, how much changed was massive. You can't underestimate how much changed in that. We got an entirely new map, not just the new biomes, not some new PIs, a new map. And that's what it looks like we're getting again here, but the downtime could be potentially even longer. This is the end, and we are going to go into a pretty long downtime for this. Now, there's a few things that usually start to happen when we're coming to a season end that gives us some really good clues. One is Donald Mustard always changes his location and cover photo, and he has done that. Donald Mustard's location is now the last reality. We've already talked about this a fair bit, what this could mean, but all I know is the last reality sounds massive. That is giving me even more emphasis on the fact that we're going into an entirely new map, like things are changing massively. Also, his cover photo is a photo of the Cube Queen, but not looking like it's from anywhere I've seen right now. Like, that's not in the sky. Like, I don't know where the cube queen is in this photo and you have to remember donald mustard's old cover photo that he changed a while ago that got people really excited was of the zero point in the center of the world right now in that room that you see in the season five trailer remember in season five trailer we see agent jonesy and there's a room that's just like destroyed it's on fire there's a bunch of stuff going crazy around it that is the room we're in now so with the timelines i get myself very confused i don't know where this photo is from before after whether we're going to time travel like there are a lot of crazy theories around time traveling around the fortnite story line that just get way too confusing for me but from a lot of the theories we've seen from people like Tabor Hill, Hill as well talking about the underside of the map they actually believe this is potentially underwater or this is an area with a lot of water I don't know if it's in the middle of the island right now but it does make me even more sure about this whole flip side map or whatever is going to happen is going to be massive I don't particularly care if the Fortnite map flips over and the map's underneath or if it's inside it's above we go to a new planet you guys know me. The storyline's cool, but I care about how it's going to affect gameplay because after the hype of the event and that, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, I'm loading up the game and then my hype is either going to go to a million or to zero based on the map changes and what we actually get in the game. I love the people who are focusing on the skins and the storyline. That's super cool. But for me, it's all about gameplay. But all this is pointing to me is massive changes. We are getting big changes in Fortnite. I will not be surprised if we have an entirely new map. Unfortunately, the other way we normally get our evidence about the new season and stuff is from Mark Rain. Someone asked Mark Rain if he could have his one word to describe the new season or the new chapter. And unfortunately, he said, yes, it's still too early. We are all getting a little bit excited right now. We're about 10 days out or a little bit more until the new chapter starts. But I also want to talk about two major things coming into the chapter. Also, Epic is really generating the hype for this new chapter. Right now, there is two bonuses. One, if you log in right now, anytime before the new chapter, you are going to get 225,000 XP which is crazy. They're just trying to get people to log in and just play the game before the new chapter. And also, Hypex tweeting out to immortalize the end. Players who fight back the Cube Queen by attending the end will unlock a special loading screen and wrap, both encrypted. And it's pretty cool because that is going to be one of a kind. Those are never going to come back. I almost guarantee there's going to be no way you can buy them. That will be a wrap and a loading screen that you will have because you attended the event, which is going to generate even more excitement and even more hype for this. I've been finishing every video in a similar way and surely at this point you're seeing it building up. Epic Games is going crazy for Fortnite in 2022. Like things are ramping up. This is going to be the year for Fortnite. Do I think it's going to go back to the OG nostalgia of the whole world playing it where it takes over? Potentially not. But right now we already have big content creators like Tifu looking at the end and thinking about coming back to Fortnite and giving it a try. Not to mention the insane influx of casual players. This is Epic's chance to capture all of those players, bring them back and keep them on the game because this could be what puts Fortnite back on top. I truly, truly believe it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please chuck a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.